This video is sponsored by Into the AM. Use my code Kevin Kulix at checkout. You get an additional 10% off, but more on them later. So 343 finally provided an update about the franchise of Halo and is it enough? Halo and Master Chief are here to stay. 343 Industries will continue to develop Halo now and in the future, including epic stories, multiplayer, and more for what makes Halo great. The Airhands Studio Head. That's it, speculation's over, story's done, two sentences, and that's completely the story of Halo right now. Though, honestly, I'd beg to differ. Thanks to today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM are a team of artists and creators who share a common vision. They see clothing as a canvas to express what drives you. Since 2012, they developed premium apparel that elevates self-expression and provides unparalleled comfort for wherever your passions take you. Into the AM recently sent me some apparel to check out and honestly guys, I'm really enjoying this stuff. I like the art style they put on the shirts and I also got some cool joggers that go with it that fit me really well. If you're not into all the crazy styles, don't worry, they have some simple tees for you as well. They fit great, they feel great, and I genuinely do enjoy their products. If you use my code KevinCollects, you receive an additional 10% off of your purchase. Plus, I get a little kickback and help support the channel as well. Into the AM has been a long time sponsor of the channel, and I genuinely do enjoy their products a lot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you much Into the AM for sponsoring the video. So let's get right back into those details. I've seen plenty of comments online and people laughing at the previous reporting that was kind of having to go around because, well, 343 or Microsoft didn't have a response for quite some time, saying that the Halo franchise is dead to, well, they're only doing the multiplayer for Halo Infinite now. And I feel like a lot of people read this and started laughing at those people who were reading into the, all the layoffs and the current information we're hearing about Halo and laughing at their face basically because they're like oh see you're proven wrong 343 came out and said two sentences that they're going to continue developing halo which this is exactly what i was talking about with my previous videos that yeah the recent layouts and news about three from 343 is not good but it's not going to be the end of halo people are are still gonna wanna play Halo. People are still gonna wanna play new Halo content. It is so difficult to have a fan base for a game. How many times have you seen a new franchise get developed and put out and then it just instantly flops and never has a sequel, never continues on. Halo is one of those rare gems in gaming where people will continue to keep playing the games. Yes, we're a smaller fan base than say like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex, and things like that, but we're a dedicated fan base that will continue playing Halo games moving forward that would be profitable depending on the size of the game. So all those people that were saying Halo is dead, like the franchise itself is gone forever now with the recent layoffs, like that's not happening. I don't ever see Halo ever going away. I find it kind of hard to believe that 343 is going to develop more epic stories for Halo when your campaign team was just cut effectively. Like at the moment, right now, as we're making this video, anything campaign story related that's not tied into the seasonal multiplayer story stuff, is on pause and the current rumors of 343 becoming a publisher of halo rather than a developer does kind of seem to make sense but also i think 343 will continue to have some form of developmental process with halo in the future for example look at the master chief collection right here look at how many people were developers for this game that's including 343 but they didn't really create a whole lot honestly it was a lot of these other companies like saber and interactive sort of infinity splash damage and many more that were involved with the process of making the mcc but what 343 did is kind of made like the ui to kind of connect the whole thing together which honestly i could see a similar kind of process happening moving forward with halo where maybe 343 might be in charge more of the multiplayer side of things or be given a smaller portion of what Halo is because Halo is such a large game, right? No other game offers as much content as Halo does. Even with Halo Infinite, it still offers more than most games out there. Because with Halo Infinite, just right now, you have an amazing campaign, a solid multiplayer, you have a robust custom game features, which again, could be better, but you know, it's there that people like to utilize. You have a custom game browser, you have a theater mode. You have like in-depth individual piece customization which most modern games nowadays don't bother with. You just have a skin. You're not even able to modify your character in most games, actually. The only game that comes close to that to my mind right now would probably be like Warframe, but most of the time you're actually picking out a suit and you can change individual colors however you like. With 20 plus years of developmental history for Halo that people assume that next game is always gonna be bigger than the last one, but how big can Halo really get? 
Honestly, it probably bloated to maybe too big of a status for one company to handle when it comes to the development. And 343 did contract out other developmental teams to help support Halo Infinite, but it was more just kind of like, hey, 343 said to make this or help kind of support with this one aspect of making things, but it's still like a 343 developed project. What I could see moving forward with 343, obviously right now in the near future, they're going to be developing Halo Infinite multiplayer content. That's the plan moving forward. But what about the long term? Is there going to be another game i would assume yes as i don't really think halo infinite is going to make the 10-year plan again we'll see more about what that 10-year plan potentially will look like by the time june 2024 rolls around that's when the fiscal year rollover of microsoft happens so we'll see what the future of halo infinite really is going to be at that time maybe 343 might be more in charge of just like the multiplayer aspect of things and maybe contract or have other teams develop other aspects of the game say maybe Certain Infinity, if they want to make the campaign side of things, maybe Saber Interactive takes a bigger role, or maybe just hiring in a completely different company. We do know that the Coalition, the team that makes Gears of War, they also hopped in and helped out with Halo Infinite as well. So I'm saying that we could have individual development studios working on single aspects of what makes Halo so great. We could have a campaign development team, a multiplayer development team, a custom game development team as well. And somewhere between that mix of everything, 343 is still involved with the developmental process of a Halo game. And like I stated in my previous video, what 2023 is going to look like for Halo Infinite, it's gonna be what they already planned for. This whole process of new seasons coming out is set in stone far in advance, way before those seasons are actually even created. We know that there's a lot of content coming when it comes to season three with new maps, like Forge playlists, tons of other bug fixes, a remake of Plaza coming in from Halo 5, put into Halo Infinite, progression changes. I'm sure there's gonna be some battle pass changes on top of that as well, new cores as well. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff to do when it comes to season three in March. But season four seems to be quite interesting with the release of what's rumored to be the Flood along with the mode Extraction. And there was a long, list of leaked multiplayer maps that are becoming into Halo Infinite as well. Most of these maps were at first when they were leaked seemed kind of questionable about this list but as we go further into the future from when that blog post was made a lot of it has come true. And like I stated in a previous video that there really wasn't much being done when it comes to campaign in the first place for Halo Infinite. Most of it was either kind of like ideas, concepts, rough kind of things that were made. Nothing substantial enough that would be considered like ready next year. Which is an absolute shame because because I love the campaign for Halo Infinite. I thought it was a great reset of what Halo is. I think the open world format works out really well with the sandbox and just the exploration of what you can do with the ring, the different enemy types you can fight and stuff like that. It was just so well done. It's a shame that we won't really see much expanded upon it. So there is still a lot up in the air when it comes to the development of the Halo franchise, especially long term. So. We'll keep an eye on it and see what's going to be happening with Halo. I don't have high hopes, especially of any kind of campaign or narrative expansions when it comes to Halo Infinite. Because we saw what Season 2's narrative was, well, there wasn't one. Let's hope that these seasonal narratives will be able to provide at least some form of story content for us to enjoy in Halo. Maybe with the campaign team effectively gutted out of 343, that a renewed focus on these narrative events being the only type of content we can get when it comes to story in Halo Infinite might up the bar from the second half of Season 2 of Hey, I'm a Spartan, you're a Spartan, let's go play multiplayer. 343 does seem to be on the right track when it comes to seasonality and content for Halo Infinite. So we'll hold them to their word to see if they can actually achieve seasonality after Season 3. And if we get any more information about it, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel.